Hello friends, welcome to this session. We are going to learn in this session creating the load balance balancer on uh, EC2 and uh, configure the configure the health checks for the load balancing. Okay, so let's start. So I have created one instance here which are running here and uh, I'm checking from my uh, access through the SSH the S, uh, instance and I have installed the Apache here and in Apache bar www and HTML folder I have created two files so one is index.html you can see uh, just I have seen, given that this is my web server and uh, second one is health check so I have just written is the my web server is running normally okay so these are two files here uh, I have created one instance here okay so now we are going to the load balancer and here no load balancer is created so i'm creating the new load balancer so there are uh, three types of load balancer is available in the presently so we are going for a uh, typical classic load balancer okay so let's give the load balancer name my web server i'm giving the name uh, here i'm selecting the my default vpc is already there so no only one vpc is there so you can create for internal load balancer so we are going with the default configuration you can configure for the advanced vpc configuration and let's go for the listener configuration so here listener we are giving the http base so you can select any of these available protocols https tcp and ssl so our file is created uh, in HTTP server so you the request comes from outside on port 80 you can map with the different port on protocols based on your configuration so uh, our Apache server is running on 80 uh, if we can if we have configured with different port like 8080 then we can give here 8080 and you can change the uh, different port if the server is running on that particular port so in our case there is uh, both are running on HTTP and both are uh, uh, port is the port 80 so let's move with uh, the same configuration uh, I'm selecting the existing security group so I'm selecting here wizard okay so let's move okay so we do not have the SSL or HTTPS certificate that's why it's giving the an warning no issues let's move okay so here the health check uh, basically uh, Amazon load balancer will check on particular file so we need to give the configuration here so we have created health check .html file okay so let's understand the configuration so response time response time is the uh, time to wait from response from health check uh, basically it's a uh, timeout so it will wait for five seconds and then you can uh, say the timeout okay interval is the uh, how after how many uh, seconds you will check for the health check so it's the uh, why default is given the 30 second unhealthy health sort means after how many attempt it will say the instance is unhealthy and same as the healthy after how many times it will check uh, if the instance is healthy so here is unhealthy is two so uh, it will check let's uh, 
make an easy configuration so i am giving the interval is 10 seconds so unhealthy means 20 after 20 seconds uh, uh, it will not get the uh, response then it will say the uh, unhealthy and let's create here three so after 30 seconds uh, it will after three uh, at a minute uh, for, for 30 seconds it will give the healthy threshold if the response is uh, from uh, healthy health check okay so this is the configuration and let's add the ec2 instance for the load balancer here we need to select uh, instance if there are multiple instances then we need to choose on which instance we need to create the load balancer here it will be enable the cross zone load balancing so it will the it will create you, you can see the uh, message here the cross load balancing distribute the traffic evenly across the all backend instance in the all already zone so it will uh, it will um, balance your traffic to the all available region which are based on your instance and region enable connection ranking uh, it is the, the number of seconds that allow existing traffic to continue flowing so let's move let's forego let's keep the tagging here and let's review and create so this is the configuration we have given and let's move okay so here the load balancer is going to create and this is the state so create load balancer and here you can see let's close this one okay so let this is the load balancer configuration here and it's creating might be take some time uh, here you can see the instance and uh, as of now instance is out of service so it will try for 30 seconds and if you get the uh, instance uh, response then it will make it healthy so till time let's uh, understand uh, let's access the instance and with ip okay okay so my default index.html give the response here and uh, here uh, once it in in, ser in service so still it's not out of service so uh, once you configure the load balancer it uh, give the dns name for your load balancer so this is important for uh, exam also basically uh, load balancer is written only uh, dns not uh, ip so you need to remember that so this is my dns name okay so let's see the instance status still it's out of service uh, this this might be have the multiple reasons uh, because uh, the traffic should go to outside uh, and it will show the your HTTP port should be allowed so you should also understand basically the server is also running here so we have access through um, this uh, IP so and so it means the server is running so let's try to understand uh, um, the security group which assigns here so we have assigned the security groups this one so let's see the security group so is it HTTP is allowed for this one or not okay till time let's see the instance status okay great so now status is in in service so no need to verify the security group here so let's close this one okay so let's open the dns name here okay then should response okay great so now you can uh, access the same server through the dns and this is given by the e elastic load balancer okay so this is the configuration of uh, load balancer and uh, you need to uh, you need to uh, remember that the uh, elastic load balancer gives only uh, dns I, dns not ip
and basically once you create the load balancer you will get all the details and you need to take care of the security group so basically with security group there might be problem with the uh, uh, load balancer not from in a uh, in service so basically there are two state in service and out of service if the, uh, the health check is getting failed then it will be the out of service and if the health check is getting passed then it will be the in service okay guys this is the load balancer configuration and load balancer understanding and uh, thank you thank you for watching this video